Hi, this is uh, a part C of our uh, order class, uh, the object-oriented programming. In the part A, we created a class and an instantiated object uh, of order. In part B, we created an array of orders and uh, we ask user for the input and make sure that uh, there are no duplicate orders. And in part C, we will use some uh, inheritance. We will create a ship order class that derives from our order class. A ship order has a $4 shipping fee, no matter how many items are ordered. And we are to override any method in the parent class as necessary. And again, write an app that creates an array of five shipped orders and prompt the user for values for each, not allow duplicate orders, and when five valid orders have been entered, we will display them plus the total of all orders. So this is just a modification of uh, what we already did in part B. If you didn't watch that, you should, because this is, like I said, just continuation of this project, uh, a little modification. All right, so first let's create the object, uh, shipped order. Add new class. And we'll call it shipped order. All right, so now this class inherits from our order. All right, so uh, what we need to do, uh, our order takes uh, a string. Is this, uh, oh, this is just a namespace. Uh, because I imported these from our previous uh, exercises. But now the namespaces are correct. Anyway, um, our order, the base class, takes a string of order number, customer name, and quantity as, a, as an argument into the uh, constructor. So we need ship order to do the same thing. Uh, okay, so public shipped order, and we need the uh, string. Uh, order number string uh, uh, customer name and uh, integer quantity however these we will pass into our base class constructor so into a base and we will simply pass all those uh, arguments into uh, the constructor of the base class so customer name and quantity. Now we don't need to collect any other uh, oops, this is a constructor like that. We don't really need to collect any other information for this class. There is a constant fee of four dollars, so we can uh, we can create a constant. Uh, uh, that's gonna be it's four dollars, but I'll do it as double uh, in case. You know, it's a currency, so if you want to change it later to like 450 or something, this way we can uh, constant, and it's gonna be C, and it equals 4.0. All right, so uh, that that's our fee, and it's a one shipping fee, no matter how many items were ordered. Now, uh, I'm not really sure if this is the best exercise to demonstrate the, you know, inheritance, because there's really not anything uh, other than the ship, shipping fee that is added to our class shipped order. So everything that is in order class can be reused as is. Uh, the only difference that is going to happen is that when we calculate the total, we have to add the shipping cost to it. And uh, so let's, if we do public and it will in return uh, double and we will call it total total cost and what it will take is the whole method we will simply call it call that so we will call uh, total or actually return total plus 
uh, the oh, this is not a this is a property. So total and a fee. In other words, over here, since we are inheriting from order, we automatically have access to everything that is public, obviously, even private. But uh, with public, we can actually manipulate. So we will have an access to the property total, which already makes the calculations of quantity times price. And all we have to do is add fee to it for each object that we create. Now, they, they ask us to override any method that uh, is necessary. This would be one of them that you could just override it. But again, it's not really necessary because we have all the we have access to all the properties in the base class. And uh, you know what? We can even do this as a uh, property as well. Uh, why not? So it's public uh, double. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's public double total cost. I'll make it as a property instead of a method. And it will be get. Uh, I need, of course, a variable for I with uh, double total. Uh, I'll make it with underscore to make sure that it's clear that it belongs to this class. Total uh, cost. All right. And um, over here, we'll get the uh, return. I mean, we don't even need the private uh, <laughs> private uh, variable. We will simply return the total from the base class plus the fee. There you have it. Uh, we don't even need this at all uh, because this is not passed. Uh, into the object via the constructor or used anywhere else. We can do the calculations directly since it's so simple. We don't need any intermediate values in between. Okay, so uh, that's really all there is to this class I don't, because everything else stays the same. Now what we have to do is, uh, when we create the objects, we don't create objects uh, of order okay so we have this and um, now we can just uh, instantiate the object uh, so this is from the previous exercise we created the order uh, array so in this case we will simply create shipped order array Okay, uh, it's just a, this all stays the same, it's still five objects, uh, but we will create, instead of the base class, we will do the, the derived class, ship uh, order. So uh, this stays the same over here, ship order. And that's, that's all I think. Uh, is there any other order object? No, I think that's all. All right, so, uh, and in order for us to get the uh, total cost uh, over here, we'll get the, not the total, but the, when we, when we add the total cost to, to our total variable, we, what we did before, we went to the total of the class order, but the class order now is the base class. What we need to call is the total cost. So over here, instead of total, it will be total cost. Uh, maybe not. Let me see. Total cost does not contain a definition for total cost. Uh, New shipped order. All right, so what's wrong here? So it doesn't have access to this. So uh, why is that? Oh, because over here we created an order, array of orders. Uh, so it's shipped order. I think now it will, yeah, now it, it took it fine. 
All right, so uh, like I said, all the logic stays the same. Basically, we just uh, call in the shipped order now and uh, change in the total cost by adding the, the fee. Now, in order to calculate a total cost, we simply uh, call the total property of the base class, which calculates the quantity times price, and then we add the fee, which is $4 in this case. All right, so uh, let's test it. So, for the number one, customer name Pavel, and the quantity 10. For the number two, I'll, I'll make a duplicate with the next one. Uh, it's gonna be Peter, and quantity 100. So I'll make a duplicate order just to test that. Uh, customer name John, quantity 905. It's a duplicate, I'll enter another duplicate and I'll enter the correct one, and I go to the next order. It's a little confusing, it doesn't say, you know, what order it is. Uh, I'll take care of it later. Uh, so for Joe, quantity, uh, I'll take 10 again. And finally, I'll make a duplicate order number again, and uh, Jenny, and she wants thousand of these. A duplicate order number, another duplicate, another duplicate, another duplicate. Now I'll do the correct one, and we have the totals. Now, remember, the total should be uh, quantity times price. In other words, our price is 1995. So where uh, I have 10, the total should be 1999.50, but plus. The fee and there's no fee entered here you know the fee of should be four dollars so this two actually should be uh, two hundred and three dollars and fifty cents uh, let me see what's wrong here um, I'm not sure it might be uh, I didn't mean to start it again let me just uh, go to my program here Total orders I, total cost. So we have the total cost. This seems to be correct. Um, miss, oh, you know what? I think this might be the two string of the. Yes, it's. See, we call. We don't have a two string method for our ship order, which we should have. And. Because otherwise. All it does is output the, just the total from the base class without uh, what we need to output is the uh, fee, the, the total cost. So we need a two string method for this uh, class as well. So public override and uh, we will override the two string of this class. So it's going to be still string to string and uh, our total here won't be a total we need the like I said we need the total cost all right so we can modify the two string of the base class we can remove the total from here and uh, over here And uh, over in our ship uh, shipped order, we can call. We can do the same thing. We can output the order number, customer name, order quantity, and we'll add the total uh, with the shipping fee in there. So we will do the uh, over here. Do the string dot format, and we will over here. We will call the base class. Uh, it's gonna be the first placeholder, and on the new line, we will output uh, total order cost, including shipping 
these and that will be our uh, second placeholder which will be a currency all right and uh, so the first placeholder will hold the string method from our order order class and our second placeholder will be the total cost property all right that should uh, that should do it so now we should output a uh, the number, the order number, customer name, and quantity straight from our base class. And then as an uh, edit uh, element, we will add the total cost to it. So, and uh, let's test that. So order number one, customer name, Pavo, and I'll order only one quantity. Order number two, I'm not gonna do any duplicates. Obviously that that's working, we already checked that. So John, and uh, he wants two of these, and order number three, and it's going to be Joe. Since it's order number three, I'll have three of these, and uh, I don't know, Jenny. Oh, order number is actually four, let's say. Customer name is Jenny, but she wants ten, just to make a little difference. And uh, finally, Daniel. Ah, so order number, not, not the customer name. So order number five, Daniel, and quantity is uh, 100. Okay, so what do we have? Order number one, name is Pavel, quantity ordered is one, and the total order cost, including shipping fee, is 23.95. Remember, the original price is uh, 19.95. The shipping fee is $4.00. So the total is $23.95. John has two, uh, including shipping fees, is $43.90. And at the very bottom, we have the total orders, which, calc which uh, is the total of $23.95, $43.63, $203, $1999. $1 so that seems to do the trick. Yeah, this one was fairly straightforward. We didn't really do much with this class at all. Well, this exercise didn't call for much. So, uh, but I still hope it helped you, and uh, I'll see you next time.